But did you make some things that were not mistakes? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> I, th there was a few Boeing things that were, they, and I'm not so worried about the Boeing things. I know that you're going to be able to fix the Boeing things, and Miss Julie we can, can help you with that, and your, your mom can help you with that, and I'm not going to talk about the Boeing things at all today. Okay, we can talk about some bow techniques that can help you with tone, and that we can talk about, okay? But I'm not worried about bowings, okay? I'm not going to worry about that. Um, were there any fingering issues that you were concerned about? Uh, sometimes I missed fingering, or put an extra one down. Okay, well, but you knew how to fix it though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to come too, and that's all practice though. So I'm not really worried about that so much either. So, I'm not so worried about like, so don't, don't, get down, don't get so hard on yourself, okay? Because really, if we think about music and learning, it's kind of like building a road, right? Brain road, really, myelin. Have you heard of myelin in the brain? So like connections in the brain are called myelin connections, kind of like rhymes with violin. Um, and so really, you're just making that myelin pathway a little bit stronger every time you practice. Um, and so you're just in the construction phase right now. It's not a very strong connection. Um, and so you're just connecting it right now. So like working on the bowings and just making sure that the correct finger goes down each time that that myelin pathway fires, that it goes down the third finger pathway when it needs to be third finger rather than fourth or whatever. It's just in the construction phase. Like it's summer in Wisconsin, there's orange cones all over the place, right? <laughs> so, we're gonna get that in the right, it'll, it'll happen. I'm not gonna worry about that so much. We're gonna work on technique like a bowing cat, a bowing technique, or perhaps a left hand, you know, positioning thing. Sound, sound good? Okay, you can do construction work later. Okay, so let's talk about the, the chords and double stops at the end. So, can we talk about that part? So let's talk about, um, how you approach the, um, the the chords with your bow stroke. Okay, so can you just play that just to kind of warm up our brain? Fire, fire the, the myelin here. Good, do that a few times by yourself. So a little more bow. on the second note, right? 
Does it have dot on this or an accent note? Do you have it by chance? Is there an accent? If it's in the, if you have the it viola one, the viola if it, one. If it, check yeah. in the viola one for me, please. Yes, two accents. Two accents. Okay. Down and up. So we're looking for that. Oops, sorry. Um, my my scroll was in the way. So we're looking for that same little sting on the second, the up bow. Ooh, there it is. I like it. I don't recommend it, but <laughs> yeah, yes, I don't recommend it. It's like you don't go, oh, you joke, right? It's the same thing with this up bow, right? Ah! A story for that, oh, right? Do you have a story? What's your story? Bedtime. Bedtime. Is it toddler or bedtime? No, it's me and my mom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh it's not a toddler. Okay. <laughs> No, you're right on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nice and accented. She has a little brother. Oh! <laughs> you've seen your your little brother throw a temper tantrum, I'm sure. Oh, too nice. Up bow. Sting it. So when you start the up bow, stop the bow, hug the string, like make it little, see, see how you string it like wants to burst, you can see it wiggle? And then it explodes off. Can you make your string at the tip wiggle? without me playing though, because I want to see it. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. First. Yes. Now can you make your bow drive just a little bit slower? Yeah. And so you want to extend how long the note goes. So it's fast and then slow the bow. Okay, if you have a not good sound, we're low. Yeah, now up.
well. So now we're just putting it back in the very beginning. Like, we're rewinding there. Like, we could rewind recordings. Now we just click back and we go back to the beginning. But we're getting that martellato or accent at the beginning of the piece. Sting. Can you try that now at the beginning of the piece? Get that accent or wiggle and burst. Yes! Ooh. That was great. Now keep going. Yes! You and me, girl. We got it. Better. Keep going. more dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know moms can get a little next level. I'm a mom. I have an 18 year old. I have a 15 year old. They have to clean their rooms. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> um, can you jump off the string here? Have you talked about that before? Let's try that. Jump. Have you talked about that before? I think so. Okay. constructing here. vibrato too. Oh, I like your vibrato though. <clears throat> Can I hear the slow section with the vibrato? Just think about vibrato. Don't worry about any of the other stuff. Remember construction stuff.
I like how that adds to it. It really warms up and gives it a little more shape to your notes. You know what I mean by that? Like, kind of, it instead of the note being like this, all of a sudden it goes like this to your note. It's really nice. So do you have a favorite finger to do vibrato to? No. No? Okay, so I can pick a finger? Okay, let's do second finger. Can I see your second finger? Let's do F sharp. That's nice. How about that happens in the piece? Oh, I love it. Love you. So Warm up that first note. Yes. Very nice. Now, I wonder, um, can you put your violin and bow down on the floor for just a second? Thank you. Thank you for being careful. I like this vibrato, air vibrato. Good. Now, watch your pinky. Can you bring it up just a little bit higher? Good. Okay, now slow your vibrato down. Is it okay if I catch your hands? Maybe. There we go. See how much looser that is? And wider? Nice and wide. Oh, good. Nice. If you keep that wide vibrato going. Yes. Nice and loose. You eat a lot of pasta. You love softening those things. Good. Now take your pinky and put it down. And now do the rub. Is it easier or harder? Much harder. Sometimes when you're trying to do vibrato, your pinky wants to go down like this. Have you ever noticed that before? Oh, you've got a stinky pinky. I wonder when you play, I want to see if you can keep your pinky over the fingerboard. Now bring your pinky back up. Oh. How does that feel? Better? Much better. Oh, yes. Very good. Okay, now pick up your violin and pull. Now play your third finger for me. Let's do third finger on the D string. And keep that pinky over the fingerboard. Oh! Oh, you are a student of my heart. Georgia, mm -hmm. such a good girl. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that beautiful vibrato. Good. that happens there. So let's see if we can start from there and watch and we'll see. first finger position. You see how tall your first finger is and where your first um, your hand position is right there. When you play right here, that hand position, that's where I want your hand to be 
when you play um, sometimes when you play right there your hand wants to drop down just a little bit more like this and so um, you can see um, the tip like the very tip part of your finger right there I'm really getting picky now yeah, so picky I know, I like when I can get picky though. Um, so can you see if you can keep your fingers on the tips like that? Have you ever heard of playing on the tips of your fingers before? So. Yeah, have you ever told her to play on the tips of her fingers? I bet she has. So she's a very good teacher. I paid her to say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't. section two. Can you get the fingers on the tips a little bit more? Can you try that? Oh, don't fall down. A little higher. Oh, did you see? Right, right away, you're falling down on me. More at the end of that section. Right there. There! Yes! You see the difference in that shifting of the hand? Yes, please. crazy things. That's okay, we'll get there. May I see your hand for a second? I'm going to see if I can play that E with, from that other finger. and see if we have a new idea. crossed but maybe I'm wrong I could be wrong you could actually watch the video back and see so that's when mine whistles is when I accidentally bumped the E here I moved over like I moved my third finger over a little bit more and then I didn't, I didn't whistle does that make sense okay so that's something to try and, and see if that might be causing it um, and sometimes it's just that you are, um, you don't have enough arm weight. And you can have a little more arm weight to see if you can sub, start the, the string vibrating. Okay? Okay, do you have any questions about what we worked on? We're, right? We're good. Okay, okay. Yep, that's it. Do you have any questions about what we worked on? Yeah. Okay, so we worked on some vibrato things with every note and member, most of the key. And then also, um, the accent of with the burst. Oops. My brain started going to the old finger patterns. Um, and then being the same accent or martellato stroke when you start the beginning. Put the burst and then slow the bow stroke down. And great time working with the short time. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions at all? No, this is great. Thank you. Great. And then um, the hand itself, I kind of did that little tiny thing at the end where when she does the vibrato, this was more for you and for Miss Julie. Um, 
that hand position here is this hand position that um, that she should have when she starts the piece right here because sometimes it wants to be low right so that was just kind of a little a little nugget right not necessarily more I don't want to throw more at her but it's just a nugget at the end